So today everyone we are going to be ranking all four capital supremacy maps in Star Wars Battlefront 2. The latest map Naboo just joined the roster of maps and obviously Felucia doesn't arrive until this fall so it'd be a good time to rank them now I think. So I did some polls on the community tab, I did the first poll without Naboo so before Naboo was added to the game and this is how things were looking and then Naboo was added to the second poll and it just seems to have completely taken over. So this is how all of you guys would rank the maps. I'm going to get into my ranking and we are actually going to be starting off with Kashyyyk. We're starting off with Kashyyyk because it's a very big map. They kind of need to add a few more outer bounds areas, I would say. You can be traveling from one side of the map to another and it can take quite a long period. I'd say this is the biggest capital supremacy map by a long way. Obviously you have the vehicles that can help you navigate, but most of the time it is just a bit of a drag going from one control point to another control point. I do like the changes made to this map. Obviously they've added in the separatist markings to some of the crash vehicles as well, which I think differentiates this mode from Galactic Assault as well because uh, that's the same on all the maps really but it does kind of look a bit different from the Galactic Assault version I like how there's a turbo tank in the middle of the map as well which there's a control point in so there's some nice things going on with Kashyyyk but I definitely say it's the weakest and up next we're going with Geonosis now Geonosis has a brand new map for Capital Supremacy that is Pipeline Junction West so it's not the same map for Galactic Assault and surprisingly despite Geonosis being the largest Galactic Assault map when it comes to Capital Supremacy it's not too big I think it's, an, it's a reasonable size it was the first map added for this game mode so I think in terms of how the objectives work everything like that everything Things kind of spot on. Vehicles once again make it easier to go around. A few caves as well, not many caves on Geonosis in this game, but they are always interesting. It's a good balance of lots of different rocky areas along with just some plain sand areas. There's also the pits that you can fall into on this map as well, which I remember for a long time at first I kept on jumping into, completely forgetting about them, so you've definitely got what, got to watch out for those. They're not on Galactic Assault, so they can catch you off guard at points. Moving on to number two, we're going to go with Camino, and I think what makes Camino such a brilliant capital supremacy map is the fact that there are no vehicles. So this is due to how the map kind of functions with very close quarters combat and the platforms as well would make it pretty risky for any side to use vehicles it would be interesting to see maybe stats on this map and they could they could add invisible walls maybe to stop people falling off but overall i think it's a good decision not to have vehicles it makes camino feel the most unique i would say out of all the capital supremacy maps and it's a nice mix of indoor and outdoor as well something that none of the maps offer camino is very good when it comes to this mode. Galactic Assault for Camino can be a bit off sometimes, it's a bit of a mess in certain phases, but I think it balances everything well for Capital Supremacy. And we are going to go with Naboo for the number one spot, meaning that my order was the exact same as the poll, just coincidentally to be honest, but I think it's a very realistic order. Naboo, the newest map, maybe I'm being biased because it's new, but overall I think we know that Naboo gameplay wise is probably the best in Battlefront 2. So the only bad thing I'd say about this map is that it's just in the Naboo city, so in Fee, there's nothing inside the palace, there's nothing in the power sector, which is a huge missed opportunity. But it's at dusk, which definitely makes things different. You can fight in the marketplace or on the streets. The new tanks that have been added, the, um, the TX 130s, really add some diversity to this as well. I think they've added diversity to a lot of the maps, but giving the Republic that firepower, you've got the Droidicas everywhere as well. Naboo overall is that urban environment that Battlefront 2 has always kind of needed. I think without it, it, there would be a big missing spot in this game. It's a map that offers a lot of cover as well. It's easy to just go behind a wall or hide in the objects all over the map, like the boxes or the stalls, like I said. So overall, I'd say Naboo definitely works as the best capital supremacy map. But let me know, do you agree with my list, yes or no? I'm guessing that most people are going to agree with this, judging by the polls, but we'll soon see. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you all next time.